What's up everybody, welcome back to our channel. So tonight, TJ, well, he had the idea that I should take you guys on a journey to see where I came from, my hood. Um, I ain't been there in a while, so, you know, we don't know how this gonna go. Um, what's up, what's up, you ready to go? You all right? I mean, I guess, I mean, I'm ready to go see your hood. You Cherry, are? Yeah, Cherry Hill, right? <laughs> right. You know, I have friends that always love to always remind me of where I came from. <laughs> of course. Why yeah. not? You support us if you remember where you came from. Mm -hmm. Let me put my seat yeah, on. Safety first, sir. Make sure you got that seatbelt on. So, Cherry Hill isn't too far from here. How far is it? Uh, what the fuck is this creeping up here? It is no more than about five minutes. Oh, it's not far at all. But we're gonna stop at the gas station because I need some gas. Or should I just wait till we get to the gas station? That's what I'll do. Is it safe to get out? I mean, it is today, so. Now why is it that people get, because like, you know I'm not from here, but when I first got down here to Baltimore, people, when they mention Cherry Hill, like, stay away, don't go out there. And I'm like, I mean, I guess it's just like any other hood for me. To be honest, it's not as dangerous as people try to proclaim it to be. You know how people just like to exaggerate. You know, South Baltimore and this this side of uh, Baltimore, the hood is Cherry Hill. So you know, I guess the word hood comes comes with the stigma of violence and a lot of crime, and you know. So did you see a lot of violence and crime while you was growing up in Cherry Hill? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, so right. it was like it a, I wasn't mean, far fetched then. Well, I mean, but. I'm quite sure back at in Ohio. We're talking about Baltimore. We're well, not talking about Ohio. I'm just saying because, you know, yeah, yeah. I feel like every inner city has its grit, no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. And every, you know, inner city has a hood and their, you know, that right. urban, that urban kick to it. You get what I'm saying? You're right. So, um, yeah. Well, like I said, I'm just curious to see Cherry Hill. I've heard a lot about it. Um, I remember you mentioned this cemetery right here, which is a fun fact. You said Ja Rule and Lil Mo shot a video here. Right, in this um, cemetery right here. When I cry, is that the song? Right. You cry, we cry together. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come through vocals. They say I sound like a. Okay. Hey, hey, Tom. Where you at? Gunpowder. Where? Gunpowder. Oh, I'm in Charlie Hill. Oh, you is? Yeah, you will be in Charlie Hill when I'm not. Well, you know what? Well, I was, you know, I, you were still supposed to came to my house the other day. And you never showed up, so. I'm actually No, I did not. I don't remember that. What's going on, you guys? I guess this is a part of Cherry Hill. I heard so many things about it. Yeah, and I'm just curious to see where he come from because I've never been there before. So, you know, you get to take this journey with us and if something happens, um, Rock, where are my location? Man? I'll let you guys know. But right now we at BP on... Cherry Hill and Waterview. Cherry Hill and Waterview. It's 647, so if anything happens, you know this is my last location. I love you guys. Please be with us. I wanted you guys 
to meet my cousin. And I tell you, she is the most bangiest chick. I love her dude. But uh, unfortunately, she's at the beach. So you guys will get a chance to meet her. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to see her soon. So, this is where I grew up at. You see this apartment building right here? Well, it's at 829 Seagull Avenue. This apartment building right here. Where is that? Second floor, this is the house right here. So each floor is one, two, it's three floors. Was that cat here too? <laughs> It's so funny because, like, come on up. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going all the way up there. But we live in this apartment building on the second floor. The mailbox used to be inside the apartment building when we lived here. Oh, okay. This lady used to live here. Her name was Miss Ann, and she used to babysit like all the neighborhood kids around here. Mm -hmm. And but look, there used to be houses right here of all houses right here you see right here across the street it used to be an open spot where we were um where we uh used to be a candy bus and we would walk across the street to the bus over here and the bus was like we sold like cookies candy pampers milk cheese everything and it used to be called mr clee bus so mind you guys, so look, come a little further. Where I parked my car, my mother used to park our car right here. This used to be a little, a little walkway where I would cut through to go to school at. Kiki, Shani, and all them, Toot and all them, live over here. Oh, okay. Yep. Right. So, walk off the street. This road right here. Lived on the Kiki lived on the in house. Took live, not this house, not that house, but the next house is where Took used to live at. And we used to play all up and down here. My little friends who were over 30 years, over 30 years, right? Right, since we were like six, seven, eight years old. That's what's up. And mind you, right, we would um, have little dancing contests and little talent shows and stuff out here. And everybody knew I could dance. They always come over like, "Excuse me, sir, can Tony come outside?" They would run across the street. Run across the street. My aunt Patty, who you met before, she lived down the street. But um, yeah, this is where we grew up at, right here on Seagull Avenue. So this is where it all started, huh? Right. Back here was nothing but woods, all which which is still back there the same. Like I said, this was this was all this was houses, and it was an open spot where you could cut through. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you guys a little path, right? I'm gonna... Show y'all where my elementary school is. Like I said, we was, they, all this was houses. All this was houses. My homegirl, Christine, who I was talking to the other day, used to live over here. We would come past here to go to school. That's the elementary school, 163. But this is the one that I used to go to. cut the little pathway, cut over, and that would be where we lived at. This is my old elementary school right here. And like I said, when I used to go here, it didn't look like this. So was, you went, how many um, years was you here? K through six? K through fifth. So that means, um, what's the name of this school? 
Cherry Hill Elementary. Cherry Elementary 159. And, um, yeah, this was our little, this is my elementary school. Okay. And, like I said, this is new. When I was going here, it didn't look like this. They ain't had no pathway. Yes, they did. They did have a pathway right here. But this is all, this is brand new. But it's bigger from what, you know. So while you was here, who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was, um, Miss Vicki Jones. She was my kindergarten teacher. And my first grade teacher was Miss Henson. Um, those two teachers I love to death. I don't know where they are now these, these days, but, you know. Yes, mm -hmm. this is my old elementary, you guys. So they remodeled the right. where we've been. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know what grade to go to now, what it is, but this is where I used to go to elementary school. I wish you guys could have saw how it used to look. Uh, this is where my grandmother used to live at. Well, right here. Well, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go through the little cutway. So when she passed away in 2007, these houses right here, these are like fairly new. So she used to live in this little corner house right here. Last year's our life, when she lived right here on this little corner house. But when I grew up as a kid, I'm gonna show you where she lived at. Corner house right here, when she passed away. But right here is where we actually grew up at, 2958. Like I said, when I was a kid, with all this, it didn't look like this. It didn't look like this at all. All these stones really modern. Right, all these are fairly remodeled, and it just looks a little different. So mind you, my grandmother lived right here. Um, who else did I introduce you to that you probably know? Me? Okay, so Kiki, once they got a little older, Kiki and them lived behind these walls. The whole house behind them. You just need that. Um, but yeah, so as a kid, like we would play all up and down here. Kenya grandmother lived up here. Kenya other grandmother on her father's side lived a little further up. Okay. It's a little, um, a little playground right here. My grandmother lived here. None of this was here. It was no, like none of this was here. They actually read their deeds. Once, you know, I guess that's time went on and stuff like that. Let me try to show you the front part of it, though. Right here. You see where that, you see where that, that uh, black chair is? Mm -hmm. That's where my grandmother's living at the house right there. Oh, okay. Right there. Mm -hmm. And this used to be, this church here, my uncle helped build that church right here. Who was your uncle? One of my um, mother brothers who passed away. What was his name? Bernard. He helped build that church right there. So yeah, this is where my grandmother used to live. Like I remember the cookouts we used to have right here on the front, on the back. My grandmother had a neighbor, she had neighbors that uh, they were a little older than us. Her kids were a little older than us. And we would play together all the time. I mean, just so many of them. Like, I remember one day I was fighting this guy coming from school and my grandmother locked the back door. So you want to run in? Right. <laughs> and she locked the back door. I didn't run. She locked the back. She was like, uh-uh, the back door is locked. You ain't getting in here. <laughs> I was like, I can't get in. She was like, whoop his ass. Yep. If you don't, I'm going to whoop your ass. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. She locked the back door. On me. <laughs> it looks so, like, you know, when you a kid, like, it looks so... Like all this wasn't here, like all this extra stuff, all these extra out here. So, much but. so how old were you when you guys left Cherry Hill? We left Cherry Hill in the 90s. So how old were you? I was a teenager. Uh, you know, I was a teenager when we actually left Cherry Hill. And that's when we went to Brooklyn. Right down the street. Yeah. Like well across the little water. And here. Because? Sure he is. Yeah, 
So now I'm gonna take you to my other, with my other grandmother, my father's mother, where she used to live at. I'm gonna take y'all over there. And that is completely knocked down. This is where Najee, who I'm not doing the mother numbers to live up they live out here. See, like I said, everybody who I grew up with in my generation don't even live out here. All of us got the fuck out of here. But you see where all the people at right here? This bus. This is where Najee, grand, one of Najee, Najee grandmother still, her uh, great grandmother still do live out here. And that's down this hill right here. Right here. But see, all these people out here, I don't know all these folks. Like I said, because everybody who I grew up with is gone from out here. My aunt Bali used to live right here in these apartments. But I'm gonna show you where. I'm not gonna get out there. Mm -hmm. That end apartment up there is where Bali used to live at. And then she moved to Westport. So now I'm about to take you to where my grandmother moved, just passed away when she was living out here. I should have came that way where you can actually see. All this was. I'm about to park right here. See, I wish I can show y'all. I'm gonna explain it the best way. It's empty spaces. All right. Get out. Is this a one way? Can anybody? Anybody car facing this way? Maybe I did come the wrong way. And see, these houses are new too. These houses were not here. All this stuff, these were here, and that church was there. But these houses are new. They were not here. Okay, so we right at the top. So Troy, right here is where this is called Veronica Avenue. So right here was all this was nothing but houses. All this, all this stuff was houses, right? My grandmother who just passed away when she was living out here. She lived right here on this road. And the row of houses went, they started here and they went to the back, right? Mm -hmm. So just, just imagine one row of houses. And then Teresa in the row was right next, right beside ours. Mm -hmm. So my grandmother lived on this side. Shakira's other grandmother lived directly on the same row where um, Teresa and them lived at. So with our grandmother here, then Shakira's grandmother, other grandmother, and at the other end was Teresa. Where she lived. And my brother Sean, who you met before too, his grandmother lived on the same, lived on that same row. Okay. So all this was just houses. This was nothing but woods. All this was woods. And this was nothing but like woods right here. So I just found out when they was at my house for Father's Day, my aunt and them said they were the ones who actually made the path. Because it was a path where you can cut through to get to the shopping center, which is right here behind, which is right here, right across the bridge. So when we were going to go to the shopping center, we would cut through this little pathway. And yeah, so my grandmother, my grandfather, they had a, a white van when I was a kid, right? They had other cars, and we would already be out here playing. And you would see them pull up. You could see them pull up. Now, what I would do is, if I was at Corrine House, all I had to do was just come around here and walk up the street. And I'd be at my other grandma's house real quick, just like that. Just like that. So these were woods, and right. these were houses. Now this is nothing. It's crazy, like, how they did it. Like I said, that church was always, that church was always, always. <laughs> Another Mr. Cleet bus that you know, this bus sold like candy, snacks, cookies. <laughs> right, I used to live around here. I used to live around here. Oh, man, we were, oh, before they tore 
Right, right. Yeah, I used to cop up here. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Right, all the time. Congrats. When I get, like, this, these wasn't, it, it was woods over here. Yeah. It was woods oh, over here. Good. Right. And there's some still back there. It is? Yeah, there's some still. I don't want her to get me in my no, no, you're not. Oh, no, it ain't get you. There's um, some still back there. Okay, okay. No, it's back there. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's still like honey home high. Yeah, it was like all these houses over here. And we will cut through. The honey, like, go cut through, go to the store. And, man, you said we used to have a, a ball as kids. Like, all this time, like, the old folks home, that's fairly neat. That's probably Yeah, I think about, about 13 years ago. That, that's, that's fairly new. That's not all, that hasn't always been there. Yep. So this is where my father's grandmother lived, used to live at. Your father's mother. I'm sorry, my father's mother. I'm sorry. Yeah, my father's mother used to live right here. They just passed. They just passed away. away. Right. And you see what I caught? Mm. It was house over there too. All of it, all of it was house. And you could come in the same way in different ways. It used to be this big wall that teacher. And my aunt Nita used to hang at the wall up here. The wall, what was that? The place where everybody just come in? Right, and it was like a long wall where it had like a little playground. It was closer to the side where Teresa lived at. So Teresa could actually, could actually get to the wall before I would get to the wall because I had to, I had to walk from this end. And Teresa was like right there to the wall mm -hmm. where they lived at. But, yep. Yeah, yeah she was like, y'all making a movie? That's a shame. Right. That's all we've got with these black homies. This is where Kiki Mother live at now, right here. Right. Let me show you where Kiki Mother live at. She live out here. Miss Wendy. Uh, Kiki probably out here. Let me see if Kiki out here. She live right here. This is where, I'm gonna show you where me and my, what's Wendy live right here? 2303 now. I don't see Kiki call, so she may not be out here. So as I got, Hello. you in Char Hill? Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. What you doing? I'm actually, me and Troy out, me and Troy out here filming. I'm showing with everybody where I live at. I showed them. Yeah, I showed them where you where we all played at when we was kids on Seagull Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm down here. I'm down here on, um, on Hillside where your mother living now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I thought you was out here. That's why I said, let me see. I said Kiki probably out here. I was out there yesterday. Oh, you were. Mm -hmm. All right. Were you in the house? What's up, Kiki? Hey, your perfect, man. girl, your What's perfect, that? your perfect ass. I thought I was gonna see you the following day. I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick of you she lying to me. Call me and she about when I call her, like, she she was going to be because she needed for him to at the two o'clock in the morning. My old middle school, which is now a high school from what I was told. And this was our middle school. Um, this is the middle school where I used to go to. And it was called Arnett J. Brown Middle. Arnett J. Brown. Mm -hmm. who, who, was the, who was the name of him? I think he was like a principal or something years ago. But yeah, this is the middle school. Well, it was my middle school. That middle school is y'all six, seven, and eight. Right. Six, seven, eight, yep. And then you go to high school after that. 
Okay. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, Tony is exhausted. Very much exhausted, you guys. He took us to the hood, Cherry Hill. We survived. Right. It was the ghetto. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was, the ghetto. It was yes. The ghetto, we child. The ghetto, yes. <laughs> um, but um, I actually um took him to exactly like where I grew up at. Um, I took him to to see both of where my both my grandmothers live, my elementary school, mm. my middle school. You know my hood. So did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Right. I did. Right. Right. It was good to see where he come from because he swear he's so bougie, but. I can't help now it. everything is full circle. Right, you know. And it makes sense, so. You know, um, again, I didn't eat syrup sandwiches and mayonnaise sandwiches. But I did. You know, I, you know, I was from the hood, but I wasn't, that wasn't my struggle. But if you guys enjoyed our video, we need you guys to do what, Troy? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Right, we need you guys to please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, we have more videos to come. And we will see you later. Sure you gang gang.